hypothetically speaking, if I was to eat two of these in one sitting, is that worth 200 bucks? Yeah. Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we're on the way to Maria's Catina, Cantina in South Haven, Mississippi. So like Northern Mississippi, right by Memphis, to do their big burrito challenge. Yeah, so what's so cool about this challenge is a $100 burrito challenge. Yes, yes, yes. So if you complete this challenge, you get 100 bucks. You still gotta pay for the burrito though, which is about 30-ish dollars. So after tax, you probably get like maybe 65 net gain. Um, so basically, you have 40 minutes to complete the burrito. Uh, if you do, again, it's not free, but you get 100 bucks, so it's really cool. Um, all kinds of stuff in the burrito. I know there's uh, some kind of a chicken. Uh, of course, your beans, your rice, sour cream. All that good stuff. So yeah, burrito weighs somewhere around five, six pounds. Let's go on in and see what we do, have some fun. Lots of other competitive reviews have eaten this in the past. We have uh, like Randy Santel, for example, Magic Mitch. So let's have some fun, eat some burritos. And I don't know if anybody's ever done two. So maybe I'll look at trying that, maybe, if I can like get 200 bucks out of it. No, I'm saying, so let's go figure it out, let's go. Everyone, so here we are with the burrito. So it's definitely a big one. We got all kinds of chicken, called Diablo chicken. There's beans, rice, pico de gallo. All the good traditional stuff on this burrito. We do have a bit of coleslaw you gotta finish. There's a thing of salsa you don't finish, but yeah, 45 minutes, looks good. He said no one's ever done, hypothetically speaking, if I was to eat two of these in one sitting, is that worth 200 bucks? Uh, yeah. How fast did you get the next burrito? Oh <laughs> yeah. Okay, it looked just like this? Yeah. yeah. If you bring me another one, I'd try it. So we're gonna start with this one and we'll go from there. Anyway, all right. I got um, you. We'll start, we'll say the count of five, four, and uh, just, um, would you mind bring, bringing me a diet soda whenever you have a chance? No ice would be great. All right, five, four, three, two, one, let's roll. 45 minutes starts now. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Oh. How is Arena? It's good? Round one, fight! Flavorful. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we are at Maria's Cantina in South Haven, Mississippi. Which is literally like, I'm talking like 15-20 minutes from Memphis. So, South Haven, Memphis, literally right beside each other, almost the same place but technically different states so it's like it's kind of cool it's a state line but like it's very like they're cl super close together anyway basically memphis area here to doing their massive burrito challenge so crazy cool thing about this burrito like we said guys 100 dollars cash prize although you always pay for the burrito so it's really like let's say about a i don't know 65 dollar cash prize but nonetheless nothing wrong with that so this burrito was actually really really big it was very 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 dense and if you could, you could definitely tell when I was unwrapping it, it is like very, very thick. Damn boy, he's thick! Boy, that's a thick ass boy! This burrito is like the size of a child. Um, not that I would have ever eaten a child, but I've eaten lots of burritos and this one was exceptionally dense and thick and those pitas they put on it are absolutely huge. Um, so it comes with a uh, meat on the inside which is called the Diablo chicken. I would like, I don't know if I'd call it spicy, but I think there, but there's like a little bit of spice to it. So arguably, maybe you could say this was a spicy burrito, but I'm not calling it a real spicy burrito so it wasn't real spicy. However, that salsa they gave me in the red dish, that was very hot. That was definitely very hot. Um, you also had to eat the coleslaw, but not finish the uh, salsa. Um, yeah, so basically the massive, massive, massive burritos. You do have 40 minutes to complete the actual challenge itself. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty, but it's pretty basic up to that point. Where things get interesting, where things get uh, very, uh, we'll say different, is guys, I plan to double this. Eat two of them. So a couple minutes in, it's going well so far. Tastes very nice. No complaints. So now I'll only speak to this burrito as I may or may not get another one later on. 
but this burrito I would say was about five to five and a half pounds. Um, it was definitely big, it was definitely solid, um, it had a lot of beans and rice in it. Um, it was pretty standard fixings, I guess, for a burrito. Like, there, you don't get to pick the uh, the meats or anything. It's pretty. It's just like a sta it's standard uh, topping, standardly served. Um, but that being said, overall, it was pretty good tasting. I was enjoying it. Um, but yeah, so this one, like I said, definitely like a five, five and a half pound. It was it was a solid thing. That salsa is definitely spicy. There had been about a handful of people to have done this. Um, I don't remember the exact number, but there's definitely a lot more attempts than there was winners. Let's say overall maybe, I don't know, like a dozen winners maybe, something like that, and then probably, you know, a hundred attempts, maybe more. Uh, a couple of those names that we recognize were uh, Randy Santel, I believe Magic Mitch was there. Um, I believe Brandon the Garbage Disposal did this as well. Uh, and I believe maybe one or two other individuals. Uh, I feel like I recognize a couple now, it's slipping my mind. But anyway, yeah, so pretty solid, big burrito. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so at that, like I said, let's see if we get to our second, get to actually round two, because if we do, that's where it's gonna get interesting. Like we said, guys, first burrito, five, five and a half pounds. If we get to a second burrito, one, who knows how big that thing is going to be. That's why I asked the gentleman, I said, is, the, is it going to, if I order another one, is it going to be the same size as this one? And of course, how long is it going to take to make? Because if you eat something, like in this case, we eat this five pound burrito, and I have to sit there for an hour to wait for the second one, it's only going to be harder. Whereas if I could have the burrito, let's, like I already had it on the table, I'd be able to start in it right away. That would ultimately be easier you like you do process the food like and your body does start to get s different signals of fullness um, so like when you start digesting food you know your blood sugar start to rise etc your body is less inclined to want to eat um, of course food challenges in general like this eating five pounds of food is a very mental task anyway and it's not that your body wants to eat five pounds but it's a mental thing just like a marathon runner if they want to run a marathon their body definitely doesn't want to run a marathon and their body will tell them to stop but they use their mental capacity they use their uh, determination their willpower you know their cognitive um, dis, you know, deciding moving factors to say, no, we're going to keep running. And of course, when it comes to a food challenge, that's what you have to do. Um, but it's eating. So you have to tell yourself, no, we're going to keep eating. You have to keep pushing because like I said, this is a, it is a, it is a task. It is a feat. This is almost like a, it is a performance. This is like a, like similar to running a marathon or doing a race, something along those lines. A lot of citrus in that slot, it's very interesting. It's a type of progress I like to see. Thank you. Fire a second one. How long would it take to make? <laughs> um, or we can always come back and do it another day. Really? So I can come back and do it another day too. If you wanted, if you wanted to do the two for like a future Oh, uh, two, two, two. I got gotcha. you. Um, one of two doctors. Five o'clock. Excuse me. Um, sure, let's do it. I'll do another one. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Something watching back that I didn't really think of at the time is those pitas. Those pitas were pretty tough, and like I said, there was definitely a lot of them. They were absolutely huge, so... All right, we have another one coming, so this is where the fun begins. From a strategy standpoint, if you can probably avoid just ending up with pita at the end, it'd probably be more enjoyable. Um, but, I mean, it is what it is, and especially the way I eat you know, this burrito here, it was kind of hard to not avoid having a little bit, um, but I would definitely also ask for some salsa, uh, you know, just something to moisten it up, maybe even dunking the pita, but I definitely think that dish of salsa would be definitely your best bet. Um, now, of course, by this point, eh, I mean, even though we had the second one ordered, not really sure, can't really say if I'm going to be able to even finish this first one, um, you know, but hypothetically, if I was to, um, I definitely hope that, you know, you were better to go, um, 
uh, you're to bring about a better strategy than I was, hopefully with this knowledge giving you a little bit of insight. And oh my gosh, you know what guys? I think we're gonna finish. I think we're gonna finish this first one. So with that, let's ultimately see what happens with the second one. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> we done the first one? So about eight minutes. So then we have our second one coming. So, like I said, this is where the fun begins. You will be the first one to ever do two. We'll see what happens. Don't jinx me yet, right? I'm just gonna pause it because it's gonna take a while for me to get. All right, so we have round two. You haven't left this table. Um, can I get a spoon? Absolutely. And do you guys have a milder salsa in this, or is it the only one? Uh, um, maybe just mild salsa. Yeah, I'd love some mild salsa of some sort. Thanks, appreciate it. She's good. Awesome. <clears throat> Round two, here we go, y'all. 15 minutes on you. Cool. 14 minutes. Okay, thank you. Nice. So this one, this one feels a little heavier. Looks, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty hot still, so I'm gonna like open it up, let it cool down. But once we get a spoon and some salsa, it should go pretty good. I can get that out of your way. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. You want the cold salsa or hot salsa? Um, just like mild. Whatever is mild, yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is Alright. Round two, extra heavy. Oh, heck yeah, you Let's go. Round two, fight. Let's do it. I can't believe that. That's all. Awesome. Thank you. I'm much harder shot of fireball. <laughs> yeah, are you? All right, everyone, and here we are. We luckily made it to round two, and I'm very, very thankful for it. So round two offered a very, very, very hot burrito, like temperature hot. Um, they cook or heat the burrito up on the grill, and it just came off the grill. You can see it absolutely steaming, piping there. So I'm like, all right, I want to start eating this quickly, so I need to figure out a way to cool this off. Um, so ultimately, I decided I'm just going to open it up, kind of eat it like a burrito bowl. Like I said, I'm going to open it up, let it cool down. Oh yeah. Try some salsa. And this one's milder. Burrito in round two was also definitely bigger than the first round. Um, I would there was way more rice in this one, way 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 more rice. So I would say this burrito was at least a half a pound bigger. I don't know if it was a full pound, but if the last one was between five and five and a half, this one was definitely between five and a half and six. Um, so a little bit bigger, but it wasn't. You know, it's not like it came out at ten pounds. So you know, I won't complain about that. I'm just thankful that I made it this far, but it was starting to get really very difficult. Three minutes into the second one, not too bad. Does it came right off the grill? I definitely need to open it up, but we'll get it down. I probably only had to wait about maybe 15, max 20 minutes between the two burritos. So I do appreciate their uh, ability to get it out pretty quickly and quite prompt. Um, but like I said, it came with its own difficulties being the temperature. Plus I was really starting to fill up. Um, you're gonna start to see me struggling, having to use some more flavored beverages. And uh, I unfortunately left all those pitas there. <laughs> Like, 
And if I could have thought back to my experience with the first challenge, just let's say 20, 30 minutes ago, I should have remembered how difficult it was to eat all those pitas. All right, five, nine minutes in. Mostly pitas and then the coleslaw left, so let's do it. A lot of pita. Excuse me. Woo. Excuse my belching. We're not offended. <laughs> If I could, I would, but that's right. You're messing up the zone, huh? It's the thought that counts. Although, as I mentioned, in my own defense, although it was a strategy error and just, you know, not great thinking on my part, um, I did have to, you know, open the burritos up and let it cool off a bit to be able to even try to eat it because it was just absolutely piping hot. So here we are left with an absolute massive amount of pitas, like each wrap had, I don't know how many pitas on there, but they're absolutely huge. Uh, definitely pretty, pretty chewy and pretty, uh, pretty hard to consume. But at that, everybody, I think that's pretty much all the information. Again, hopefully we are actually able to uh, beat this second burrito, guys. And if we do, that's going to be upwards of 11 pounds of food, which is just absolutely ridiculous. But you're going to be able to see it, and you can see it in me now, guys. I'm definitely starting to struggle. It's getting a lot harder. My breathing's heavier, and I'm just like, let's just get this done. Let's try to get our money ultimately wish me luck and if you like this video so far please give it a like and let me know in the comments down below it definitely helps the algorithm helps the videos out guys so with that i'll let you get the rest of the video and let's see what happens so we're just about 10 minutes in i basically just had this and the coleslaw left Thank you. Should I just um, a little bit more of that mild salsa? Yeah. Fifteen minutes in. This is just a coleslaw left. Let's finish it off. Oh, okay. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, and we're done. About 16 minutes, 50 seconds for the second one. So, first time anybody's ever eaten two of those burritos. Would not recommend, but that being said, hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Definitely a lot of food. So for that, we had to get 200 bucks. We're still gonna pay for the burritos, so it's like, I don't know, maybe 140 net gain. But that, everybody, hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, of course. Until next time, stay happy, be hungry, happy eating. Don't do what I do. Have yourself some great food. Have a lovely life. And South Haven, Mississippi. Thanks, y'all. So Bill comes to about 67, 68 bucks. We did get $200 cash, so it's not too bad. So yeah, pretty cool. So now it's just hello. So it'll at least be nice and simple and chill. And then the Peabody, which is a famous hotel where they walk ducks through oh, the lobby. Flat music, like expensive, shitty drinks. Um, but it is a cool, cool party scene when you're going to get get sloppy. You gotta be, when you're when you're here to walk in Memphis, right? Oh, sure. Look, guys, home of the blues, Beale Street. I am now officially walking in Memphis. Beale. I'm on Beale Street, y'all. Hell right. So now I can say I'm walking to Memphis. I'm walking with my feet 10 feet off of Beale. Yes. City of Blues, the Delta Blues, Memphis Blues. This is officially Beale Street. What a cool, cool place. Yeah, pretty cool. So it's like, kind of like Bourbon Street. Pretty much, yeah, it's like Bourbon Street. It's a lot. I like the, yeah man, the neon lights are so unique. It's yeah. cool, it's cool, yeah. And this goes all the way down. We got the, the Memphis character. Yeah. yeah. Home of the Blues, Beale Street. So, walking on Beale Street. Although, not 10 feet off the ground, to be honest. I'm actually standing on actually, the ground, it, but. It is right there if you're looking for that sign. It says 10 feet off the ground. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess we're going to see the sign, but look, I just want to point out. Look how cool this street is. It's just so lit up. But look, I mean, we're here on a Wednesday night, but like, it's dead. And like, how often are you ever going to see this place this dead again? Probably like never. So Hopefully it's never. pretty cool. It's pretty, very unique. But uh, oh yeah, 10 feet off of Beale. There you go. Look at this. I was walking with my feet 10 feet off of Beale. I don't even know. And it's not lit up and I may get hit by a car. So I'll walk back. But Orpheum, this is the Orpheum Theater. There you go, now you can see it. The Orpheum. Orpheum Theater, a now very, playing, what'd you say? Now playing, yeah, now playing Rena Huang and Mr. Brett Healy. And here we also have these stars. There are some, which are, are Frankie Valen, Four Seasons which, Pro. Nice, which are kind of like Harry the uh, Hollywood stars, apparently featuring Harry Houdini. You know, if you're also, and a great big, beautiful mural to not only Memphis, but obviously the music, the blues, oh, yes. the history. Lorraine. And this is the big bridge to Arkansas, which was just flashing all kinds of colors a minute ago. Now it's just white, but it was flashing like blue, red, purple, green. So it's pretty cool, but. It is raining, so gotta get out of here. Everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right, click my face, subscribe, guys. It helps me out, helps you out, then you don't miss an upload, and hopefully I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click a video right here. I specifically pick two videos, yes, that's right, two videos specifically for you right here. So click a video right now, get that going, and it's gonna end, so click one quick. Let's go, let's go, and have a great day.